He may be up in the polls by double digits, but Republican Steve Lonigan's campaign for U.S. Senate is still a work in progress. As part of what he's calling his Exposing Cory Booker tour, Lonigan stopped in front of a spec home he's building in Teaneck, boasting that he is a bona fide job creator, having run several small businesses, as opposed to the man he expects to be running against in the October general election. Mayor Cory Booker has called for the federal government to spend the whopping sum of $1.6 billion, $1.6 billion to create what he calls government-run manufacturing innovation centers. That's his economic plan. Seeing his Republican challenger, Alita Eck, as no challenger at all, Lonigan did not mention her once today until a reporter asked him about why he wouldn't participate in the League of Women Voters debate. The League of Women Voters supports everything. They claim to be nonpartisan. That is a pro-abortion, pro-gun control, pro-progressive tax. Um, on every issue across the board, they are on the opposite side of the spectrum, and I have always had a history of refusing debates by an organization that is not nonpartisan. X seems unconcerned with debating Lonigan. She told NJTV that voters are already pretty familiar with him. He's, he's run several times and he's lost, so um, uh, for some reason the voters chose someone else and perhaps they'll do the same thing this time. Lonigan is not alone in targeting the mayor of the state's largest city. In fact, Eck called Newark the Detroit of New Jersey. Assembly Speaker Sheila Oliver has criticized Booker's celebrity status and his record in Newark, and a super PAC calling itself the American Commitment Action Fund has released a new online ad juxtaposing Booker's upbeat campaign commercials with headlines about violence and crime there. In Newark, we got guns off the street. Murdering a mother of four in Newark. Fatal shooting in Newark. A drive by shooting in Newark. Those here in Newark's inner city. Rather than apologizing for his public exposure, Booker bragged about it last week. My economic development department was complaining to me that we have so many ribbon cuttings and brown breakings that we could do one just about every single day in the month. This is not a testimony to my leadership or, or a testimony to what we're trying to do in terms of reactions to any outside events. It's the, reaction, the reality of the city of Newark. We are a city on the move. Cory Booker has been laying low the last few days, but that has done little to detract from his status as frontrunner and the only candidate in this race that all the other candidates can't seem to stop talking about. In Teaneck, I'm David Cruz, NJ Today.